John Cage was an American experimental composer born in 1912, who is probably best remembered for his innovative use of the prepared piano, or his 1952 piece, 4 minutes 33 seconds, which consists of 4 minutes and 33 seconds of musicians not playing their instruments. Cage incorporated many aspects of randomness into his work over the years, a form of composition called aleatoric music, but the method we'll be looking at today is his use of the I Ching, or Book of Changes. In 1951, he was given a copy by his pupil, Christian Wolff, one of the so-called New York School who developed around Cage in the 50s. Immediately, Cage's interest was caught and this text became the basis of his compositional method for the rest of his life. The I Ching, or Book of Changes, is an ancient Chinese text dating back to around 1000 BC, used for divination, but which has been a cause of inspiration for philosophers, artists, religion and literature in the East and the West. Its current sequence is said to have been created by King Wan, King of Zhou in the late Shang Dynasty. To use the I Ching, the user obtains a random number, originally from sorting yarrow stalks, but now more commonly from throwing coins or dice. This number corresponds to a line, which is either strong or weak, yang or yin. When six have been obtained, you have a hexagram. There are 64 different possible hexagrams, which you then look up in the I Ching and read the interpretation. For example, if we've got the hexagram Lin, the meaning is approach. Or if we've got the hexagram Feng, this would mean abundance. Further interpretation from these meanings can be drawn to produce a divination. It's slightly more complex than this, but that's the general idea. Cage would ask the I Ching a question and use the hexagram obtained to make the decision. Firstly, he would consult the sound chart to see which note, if any, should play. Then a duration chart and dynamic chart would obtain the note required. Cage would also use a tempo chart to set the tempo changes for the piece. Works created this way include Music of Changes and Imaginary Landscape Number no. 4. In this way, Cage wanted to free himself from his own preferences and allow indeterminacy into the process. For Cage, using randomness meant imitating nature in its manner of operation. Cage's work has influenced many artists and musicians through the years. In 1974, British musician Brian Eno and artist Peter Schmidt produced the Oblique Strategies series of cards to help the creative process, a more user-friendly form of Cage's process. Each of the cards, which is drawn at random, has a worthwhile dilemma printed on it to inspire or challenge the artist in their creative process. Eno has gone on to use these cards on production of some of the best-selling popular albums of all time, such as U2's Joshua Tree and Coldplay's Viva La Vida. Subscribe for more inspirational working methods.